Hi, back again. I've been working on a little bit of uh, strength inside the tub. Um, had issues, I went down to the metal fabricator, oh, metal shop yesterday, sorry, and uh, asked for three mil. Well, I think I got a new guy, but I got given five mil. And uh, being the end of the weekend, I thought, you know what, I want to get something done. Uh, still waiting on my seals. So, I was given, uh, yeah, the five mil, and it's, it's thick and it's very hard to bend. So, I nearly got it right to go in there, nice big chunk of steel. And I just couldn't get it sitting nicely, which uh, was a bit disappointing because I reckon I spent probably 40 minutes to an hour trying to bend that. And uh, I don't have an anvil, all I've got is a vice and a tape. Um, so what I've done is I've pretty much made an extended ruler from A to B. I've got a brace on the other side. Um, now, the other thing um, to, worth mentioning is um, so I've been told that if you uh, do uh, 20 to 30 mil of seam weld, that's capable of holding a ton of weight. So I could never figure out why people do stitch welds, and I always thought, well, aren't you supposed to weld it all the way through? So now I understand why they do stitch welds, because for one, it doesn't put so much stress on the steel, and two, um, I think it actually looks better when you do stitch welds. So I tried to seam weld this off. I've pretty much seam weld the top of the other brace on the other side. I've got to do a little bit underneath. But from here, I'm going to do a stitch. Um, now, another thing I've noticed too, there's somebody else who's got a, um, a H-series, and he's got pushing a 1,000 horsepower in his car. And it's pretty much a, a, a drag car. And uh, he does a lot with it, he does drifting, uh, a lot of different events. And um, I noticed he didn't have any bracing. And his tub is pretty much identical to what I'm trying to do. And um, that gave me a bit of comfort thinking, okay, well, he's got all this power. He thrashes the shit out of his car constantly. And he doesn't have the, the inner bracing from what I can see. And um, I'm not going to have a thousand horsepower. I'm, I'm sort of hoping for a solid 450, 500. Um, so I think what I'm doing is going to be more than sufficient. So I've got two on the front. Um, I'll work through the, the center and more to the back. So enough of me talking shit. Let's get down to some welding. Hopefully I have a bit of luck.
always like to try and clean the tip. So far, so good. So far it's looking pretty good. All right, just got to do a little bit up here. I'm just going to change the camera a bit.
Beautiful. What I was trying to do is I've ran a little bit of a long seam before I did the major weld to get some heat in there. And then I've actually melted the top plate because I've stayed on the top plate a bit longer and quickly whip it onto the other plate, which I think is 1.6 to 5 mil. So that 5 mil plate is totally well um, melted. So I'm quite happy about that. And we're not here for looks. Um, don't give a shit what it looks like because no one's going to see this, but I've got, so far, nice stitches. Um, there was a burn hole here, but then I realized, this was on the previous video, it wasn't a burn hole, it was actually a, a fixture point for the fuel line. There was a plastic clip in there, and I forgot that it was a hole. So when I hit it, it looked like it burnt through, but I actually hadn't. So we're nearly to the home stretch. We're going well. So I'm going to run a seam on the top. Seam on the top. That'll put a bit of heat in there. That'll give a little bit of a bridge height. So then I do my, I like to call it banana weld. Backwards, forwards, like a banana shape. Quickly clean the tip. Hot coal land in my sock. Always feels good. quite nicely. It's safe to say that's melted to the chassis beautifully.
Well, that turned out quite nice. Last night I made myself up a leather apron. I might stand up and show the audience. I've got to put on some sides, but uh, it's um, I used to make roller skate boots. So, yeah, a bit of leather I had sitting around and um, didn't save my shoe this morning from getting burnt, but um, yeah, I find when you angle grind, all this, this stuff starts to, I've got five or six of these tops too, but it starts to melt your tops. Um, so yeah, just something bodgy when you're grinding, a bit of safety too, so. This turned out beautiful. Um, I won't have to go over that, won't have to double check. Um, so yeah, we'll be back shortly. We'll be moving on to the back. Okay, we're under the car now. Um, just putting in some uh, clamps. Bit of work. I've got myself an apron over me, so when well, it doesn't land on me. The uh, hot sparks. Just keep sort of zoom there. Okay. So yeah, here goes nothing. Did the other side before. Turn out quite good. So that was nice. Should have pulled up my thing a bit higher. It was not burnt a little bit, but yeah, so I've got a nice weld in there. So I'm finding the key is go on the side of the uh, between the, the steel and the actual rail, try and get a little bit of heat in there, do a line, and then go over it again with your stitch weld stitch weld. So I'm not going to do a full seam, I'm just going to do a stitch weld. That turned out beautiful, that one. Obviously upside down is a little bit more difficult. Looks like we're having a little bit of luck. I'm getting beautiful penetration.
nothing I can do about that one. Just clean my tip a bit. So, we're having a little bit of success. And this apron I uh, made up was the best thing I did. Over here, baby. Well, it's turning out pretty good. I'm getting really good penetration. It's getting a little bit difficult now because you're up close to the rail uh, underneath the boot floor, so.
All right, I've got two more seams to do. I think I need to have a bit of a break. Um, one thing I found quite uh, interesting before, I've got a uh, like a double mattress, kid single double mattress. So if you lay it on the ground, it's very soft. Um, to lay on the ground, you've got to get up and down because you've got to bend this and shape it. So you've got to get up and down, up and down to uh, do the shape. And it could take hours to do. Uh, just you take your time, take it easy. Um, and everything I do, I'm always standing on like a, uh, like I've, I've got a 70 mil gym mat that I'm, I'm always standing on. So it's good for your feet too. Um, leather apron so you don't burn yourself. Um, but yeah, that's turning out really well, really good. So I'll be back shortly with um, boxing in the inside.